Hello everybody, my name is Riel the Protogen and welcome back to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For. We're on the second part today. I actually think we're going to go back through the first part and get all the secrets that we missed in the first episode. But in this episode, uh, we're going to move on to the second part of the game after we find the secrets from the first part. So I think in this one, we have to start by dying to Buck. Other than that, it should be pretty easy. So we self-heal, self-res, fucking whatever. I'm a mercy main. Shoot me, I guess. That about handles my injuries. Hey, um... Oh, yeah! Hold on. So we gotta heal her. I'm just gonna skip past this. Um... Perform Rot Bloom for her... No, for me! To approach the heart of the woods, the effects are... Wait, what? Gruesome looking ritual. Mother! I do not like this! Well, the same could be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Hmm, mm, Matilda. Sheesh, all this grandkids talk. Now you're just like my mom. I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking spray her! <laughs> I just love how it's actually horny spray. Kidding, bro. kidding. Okay. That was one of them. That was one death. Cool. We survived Buck, and then there's an entire different line of things here. So we ate the pod, we ate the meat, we ate the petal. We performed Rot Bloom, and we survived Firstborns. So, what would be the secret here? I don't think there's anything else for me to do here. Can I talk to you? Can I do anything? No. Can you do anything? No. Is there anything else here? Hang on. Yeah, I have to perform... Not rejuvenate, but... Wait, what if I rejuvenate her? That, right? Okay. Place a goat skull on your face, light green fire candles. So they are green already, I think. I think I have the goat skull not on, so we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna cast it on her and see what happens. Really? She does look like she needs a hug. I agree. I wish I could hug her. Hug her in what way, Rael? You know what way. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions as well, chat, while we find these, uh, little secrets. Little nuggets of information here. Little nuggies of snuggies. I would like to snuggie with the goat mommy. Healed self. <gasps> Wait, I don't think we did heal. We never had a chance to perform it, I don't think. Oh, that was it! She's still alive? The Thousand's tenacity is just something else. Why did you heal her? Because I'm a moral person! He knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. <gasps> did she lose her lust? You heard it too, right? He said to stop shooting because they hit the book. Oh, don't get sad on me now. Don't make me feel bad for you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, no. Wait. Is it just me or is she acting... Different. Is she healed? Thanks for bringing me back. Or whatever. Huh? Thanks? Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what's happening? Her desire for Buck was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. Oh. Really? She's not one of them anymore? Hey, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. Crisis of faith or not. She is still with the Thousand, and just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands. I can forgive and forget? Forgiveness, it's what makes me human. You wouldn't understand as a god, a, a, a sexy god nonetheless, but it's part of my moral compass on why you're so attracted to me and want to smooch me. I slipped the guitar strap off from around her wrists. There, how's that? I'm not gonna say thank you for releasing me. Her you're eyes! Right? You're the one who tied me up in the first place. Her eyes are fixed! I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. Stardust, we're 
going to regret this. I don't think we will. Have a little faith in me. It'll be all right. Well, I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. Hey! Okay. Well, pff, uh, now maybe I perform rot bloom? Good! No, I am human. I am human. I am human. Oh. 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 Who's there? Good people. Okay. Oh. I just saw something that's going to take me out of this entirely now. The reflection to the handle doesn't reflect itself properly in the actual door. <laughs> God damn it! Oh. Who's been fucky? Who's in the house? Where's the blacksmith? Oh, that scared me. Why did Lightning McQueen scare my little protege ass? Alrighty then. So now we get to perform the ritual and see if we got all the secrets this time around. I am plankton of the sea. Well done. Nice. Of hope. Cool. All right. I know, but now that Nanny. Nanny is gone. I fear the worst is yet to come. Let's hope letting her live wasn't a big mistake. Oh, yeah. This changes this whole thing. Because Nanny was the sacrifice in the last one. So now we have to summon the firstborns. Uh-oh. Time to go. Yikers. Oh, I hate that. I hate the baby sounds. I hate the babies. Ah! Ah! Oh, that changes the entire thing. Okay. Good. So now we just need to. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I see, said the blind man. Good. I found the babies. Uh oh. Good. Great. Wonderful, Chet. I love it. Good. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? Uh, how do I get in there then? Because I went the opposite direction. <laughs> well done. Okay. I think we need to go this way. Oh, what is this? Ah! Ah! I see. Can you help me here, goat mommy? Can you like tell the babies to fuck off? This is your dreamscape, anyway. I wish I was in the dreams of a giant, hot, dummy goat mommy. <gasps> that was it! Oh, that was it! Oh shit, that was creepy. Oh, okay. So now the second part. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go out on their own, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. Okay. <gasps> I'm waiting for the candles to go out. Did it though? Right? Oh! <gasps> Here we go. Don't let my heart rate fool you. I'm actually extremely whelmed right now. Oh. Got it, but what exactly is it? I open the sack. The contents are a dark red liquid thickly mixed with another darker fluid. Seems kind of like fresh wine. I close the sack up, ignoring the sight of the two bright red fingers floating at the top. No time to recover from all this excitement. I've got to end this ritual. Yay. What? Why? 
Oh, fuck! Oh. Uh. Ah! What? That's fucking terrifying! It, it's such a dichotomy because it's a horror game, but it's a dating game, too. Gotta wait for the babies to go away. Go away, babies! Yeah, this is an accurate depiction on how uh, scary dating is. Accurate depiction on uh, why dating is scary because you never know when your girlfriend is going to turn out to be an eldritch horror out for uh, just uprooting herself from your reality. You know what? I'm fine with the eldritch horror goat mommies. If this is what I have to look forward to in life, I am fine with it. How wonderful. Oh, okay. Was good as home free. Oh my god, are we? Was that enough? We, it seemed kind of pissed off. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. Maybe. Is this the, is this the end? Are you leaving me? But we just got to know each other. What do you mean, remainder of my reality? I take in, but because I'm an outer god, everything in this reality is my dream, including you. Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up, and this reality will end. Oh no! But what happens to me when my reality ends? Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck continue to exist between dreams. But as for non-immortals... Oh no. Stardust. Occultus asked me the same exact question once before, when I gave him my answer. At first he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then, as he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad, until finally, he ran shrieking into the woods, and I never saw him again. I've got to know what happens to me once my reality ends. I don't know. Oh, someone's coming! Is it Buck? Did Nani spill the beans and say how close we are to the finishing? I ready my bass guitar. This is it. Whatever happens, I can't fail here, for my sake and Roxanne's. Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, well, you know, I love how I only get one swing. Uh oh. <gasps> Who's there? Is it Buck? Is it Nanny? Hello? What? Hey, I'm back. Oh. <laughs> oh, you had me so scared. I almost beat you in the face with a bass guitar. You would have had bass face and not in the your your badass at bass kind of way, but in the your face has now got a bass shaped hole in it. Hurry, get in here. Jeez, I almost took her head off. I wonder what happens if I She's back? do. Why? I hate to inform you, Roxanne, but Nanny and I, we, we're in love. I'm sorry that you have to find out this way. I never meant for you to find out this way. You weren't supposed to know. But we have to leave. We have to go. Because it's just not working out between us, Roxanne. Because anyway. I'm leaving too, and the only way I'm getting out of here <laughs> is to you finish your rituals. <laughs> I gotta get back to my folks, and you do too, so... Actually, thanks to the Thousand, that's no longer a possibility for her. Go! Oh. Oh. Mm, were they, you know, did we... Oh, she regrets now. I take a deep breath and force a small smile I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. Can you save me anyways? Of course! I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Just say thank you! Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. Yes! It does? Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Huh? What are you talking about? 
I do not have kids. What do you mean? You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time. Inside my aura of desire, no less. How haven't the two of you had kids yet? No, oh, her, her second set of eyes open. Why don't you tell me? You're the space goat with magic powers or <laughs> whatever. How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? Space goat coast to coast. Hey, I don't think she ruined everything. You're the ones that abused her power, Linda. Remember that. You're the ones that took her power and abused it. So uh, she is not to blame here. She's just, a, a in this part, a, uh, an observer at this point. Ruined everything. You two seemed pretty close before he um, shot you. I mean, I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. I mean, that was what I thought all of this was going to be. Oh, man. He told me that the black goat of the woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. You know, she does have a point. The goddess of lust. Yes, no, that is great. But like, as soon as we did. She has a point. Stopped talking to me. Hmm. All the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or whatever. Ah, relationship problems. Don't you hate when an outer god is involved in your relationship problems? Like, ah, oh, man, I, I hate it when I'm I'm trying to have a like meaningful relationship with somebody and like uh, an outer eldritch god is like, ha ha, I'm the goddess of fertility. Get fucked, scrub. I guess that explains why Nanny thought I was here for Buck when we first ran into for each other. Back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god if he just got me back. But I guess I'm like... Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of other violent cult leaders out there. I'm sure you'll find the right one for you. <laughs> But oh, that laugh was cute. I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Here's everything you need for the next one. Oh, you thank you! Sleep. Really? To think she risked returning just to help me. And so after this, reality will end eventually? Yes. And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too. Most likely. So that makes me... Your dream girl, technically. Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is all the same. But yes, I suppose so. Wow! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> me too! Me for real! Me for real! When she told me to call her mommy yesterday. God! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool indeed. But that laugh is but dangerous. It's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire black woods to burn down. So you'll need to run. I wonder if Nanny is going to take the responsibility for making sure the book burns. The but what if they save the book before it burns to ash? You're never going to make it out anyways. The thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. Here, if you take my old robes and mask, you can, like, slip right past them. I'll stay behind. Sure <gasps> oh my god! She's going to stay behind to make sure the book burns! But what about you? Won't they kill you if they see you without your cult stuff? As if. They know my face. If they see me running away, they'll let me go. Here, try this on. Oh, fuck! Can we get some O sevens 7s in the chat, please? I slip on the robes and tuck my head into the goat skull mask. It fits snugly. It fits? Do you know what that means? No, I don't. That the skies will work? Well, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. Oh my god, besties! Uh, don't ever let me do that again. Ever. Again. Can I totally raid your closet on my way out? Because, like, I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I love your pastel goth look. So cute. Okay, you know what? Besties. Yeah, we're besties. We're besties! <laughs> oh, yeah, take whatever you want. It's all burning to the ground anyway. Awesome! Oh my god, what the fuck kind of friend- Did I just make a new best friend? Are we best friends now? Are you my friend now? Yo, when are we gonna get some soft tacos later? Start us now! We're so close to escaping! You can't throw it all away now by trusting her! If the book doesn't burn, all of this will be for nothing! 
Hey, hey, what have I been teaching you this entire time? I've been teaching you about human compassion. Show some faith. If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the Thousand, both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. I got us this far, didn't I? We won't let what? you down now. She... <sighs> All right, I just... I want this so badly. And I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. Come on, let's head on down to the root room and finish this. Oh boy. Well... This is... This is new. So I guess it's just time to go. Go down into the root cellar. Oh my god, I get it now. It's a root cellar. Ha! I'm a to do him and never do da 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 I look down at the purple ritual book, hearing Roxanne's worries echo one more time through my head. I know what I'm doing. Here. Haha, <laughs> I didn't imagine the night ending with me willingly handing the book over to you. And this is where the twist is, isn't it? Oh my god, right? Like, totally not what I expected at all. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the woods are all burning down, he'd probably give anything to have it back. No! If we went back to the Thousand together, we could ask for anything. I'm sure he'd let you join. No. And now that me and Buck are through, I'd totally go out with you. What? Wait! Hold on! Hold on! Wait a second! Hold up! Listen, li I, I would. Nanny, we have to burn the book. You sure? Last chance to get with me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> hold on! I want to see where this goes. Nanny! Kidding! Kidding! Damn it! I just. <laughs> Kidding, jeez. Who? No, mostly. I or I didn't talk words. Uh, 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 you think I'm cute? <laughs> you think I'm cute? <laughs> waggle, 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 waggle. She takes a long look at the book before tossing it into hey, the fire. This is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. You're so cute. Ah. Ah! What is this game? Her smile's really pretty. I wish we could have met somewhere else, too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. <laughs> Mostly. Escape. Okay. Time to leave. What? <gasps> oh my god. Is that you? Uh, yeah! Shoot, I wasn't expecting to have to talk my way out. Yeah, um, totally. It is her. What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down! Oh, uh, let's leave then! Do I really have them all fooled? That outsider must have completed the uproot ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Uh, the book is no longer safe. There's no way the book has burned all the way yet. I need to buy Nanny more time. Wait, I'll like totally get the book by myself or whatever. Really? Yeah, I can do that. Mommy, you're amazing. You're yeah. A true I am. Yes. I can't believe you'd sacrifice yourself for all of us. Of course I would. That's the nanny you know. That's the nanny you love. <laughs> oh god. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Right. Morons. Where's Buck? I made it? I survived the night? I've got a long way to go before I'm cleared of the wildfire, but I'm ahead of it for the moment. Oh my god, we got out. I'd better be sure to ditch the robe and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for a cultist once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly as I watch my childhood home burn to the ground. The house crackles loudly as the wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, burying any cultists unfortunate enough to have been trapped underneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Wait. What's the... Oh no. He's immortal. What? This episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. What? Next time on Sucker for Love, House of Wax. What? I can't wait. What? Buck is immortal. <gasps> oh, that's cute. 
Nanny has left the thousand. Chapter one. Is that the true ending? Oh my God, that's the true ending. Oh, that was adorable. God, why am I getting so attached to these characters? Well, there you go. There is episode one. Uh, the thousand versus the one. Complete. I guess. Anyway, I think we'll leave that for the next episode, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. In the next episode, we'll move on to Chapter 2, House of Wax, uh, and see what that's got for us. But, hey, we got the true ending for Chapter 1, so that works. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you did like it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. I'm Rail the Protogen, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody! Wacka, 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 wacka.